G'day guys, welcome back. Look, they've arrived. Wow, I am beyond excited and absolutely thrilled with these molds that I have designed. Oh, so exciting. I'm going to bring it up behind the camera so you can have a little bit of a, a close-up look. So it's just my, my prototype. It's a really big, thick mold. There's my thumb. Right, let's have a little look. So these are terrace molds. So I did one, well, I just used like a, a concrete mold or cement mold and I made a coaster. Um, you can check back on that one. It was a bit difficult to do, I must say, but these are amazing. Now look, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven layers. Amazing. They're all a bit different, different shapes. This one's got more of just a, a wavy curve to it, this mold. And I also added a little one, a little baby one, a little pendant. So that's that one in the round. And then this is the square one, as you can see. Again, nice and thick, same thickness. Nice and deep. Now this one, this one's a little bit more kind of jaggedy looking. This one looks more like rock, I think. So same thing. One, oh, you don't really count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven layers. And again, they're all a bit different, different design. Took me a long time to design this. So excited. I'm gonna pour in one of them today. This one because it's square, it hasn't got the little pendant, but oh right, so I've got this mold here that I'm gonna use. I have made up some resin, big cup of resin. Now I've gone for my thinner resin for this one. Um, because it's a deeper mold, I don't want to use the Platinum 360 Plus. It's a very thick resin. Um, I think it's more for top coating. Uh, and it sets up really quickly. And in a deep mold, it tends to uh, flash cure um, because it sets up really quickly. So I'm going with this one the platinum ultra clear it's a very thin it's the thinnest one of the platinum that i've got the super clear is a little bit thicker than the ultra clear and then the 360 is the thickest so it's just been sitting in the cup there just for five minutes and it's still really cold like it hasn't heated up at all can you see the bubbles sitting on top there it's going to torch those little bubbles sitting on top and there's not much in the way of bubbles in there. I mean, yeah, there's some micro bubbles in there, but it's not too bad. Now, the thing that I want to do is um, what I have been doing lately, like if I've been doing um, an intricate mold or um, something with, you know, lots of little lines or designs or even a druzy crystal mold with all the little crystals and pointy bits, I have been spraying the actual mold first with alcohol now I use this one this is my isopropyl alcohol it's 100% alcohol I buy this from Bunnings I actually just bought a big four liter container which was the same price as this um, 500 mil from Bunnings and I got that on eBay so um, I just put some in here it's a really fine little I think it's a cosmetic bottle um, that I got from the dollar store and I put some in there it's got a nice little fine mist so once I'm ready to go I'm going to spray the actual mold I'm going to pour the resin in spray the mold pour the resin in but let's get the colors organized 
so like I said I want to do well I want to do for this one I want to do um, white so you know when you um, you look at snow or ice and the reflection of the Sun sort of sparkles on it um, that's the kind of look I want to go for sort of I want to try and recreate some um, icebergs glaciers something like that so really white sparkly base and then a dark blue for the center coming up to light blue like really clear crystal clear white sparkle that's what the look i've got in my head that's what i'm going to try and achieve so that for this this one is angel white by lorez white pigment paste i need a decent amount i think because it's a big cup um Oh gosh, I'm getting it all over myself. I'm just going to hold it over here so I don't make too much of a mess. Pop that in there. Um, I've mixed up two cups, two cups of resin. So, did you see me do the tray, the terrace tray mold? Um, now, there's been a, a few people doing videos on those and I've seen a couple of people where they just pour I've <laughs> got white paste on there where they just pour the white sorry the you know the blues into here um, but then when you turn it out the other side is hollow you know because um, you need to you need to do both sides so what we're going to do first is Look at that, I love how that mixes in. Love that, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Oops, there's some more bubbles. I'm gonna get those bubbles while I can. All right, now what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna, basically, I'm gonna fill these up with white resin. And then, um, tomorrow, I'll have to, well, What's it now? It's 5.30 in the afternoon. I'll probably have to leave it till oh, now I'm working. I don't know. Once it's set and cured and nice and hard, I will demold or unmold. And then you move the mold out of the way. Then you've got your four coasters. Okay. So then you've got these little cavities that you can pour your colored resin into. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, I did make... Uh, one coaster it was actually using um, a mold from I think it was like a concrete planter that I kind of worked on it wasn't ideal but I made it work so you can go back and have a look at that video and it'll kind of show you what I'm going to do or you can just stay tuned and watch the process of this one but maybe watch both <laughs> so lovely and thin look at that no mound it's just like milk this resin Okay, so that's my white. I think it's all mixed in. I don't want to mix too hard because I don't want to get all the bubbles back out. Now, to my snow, I need to add a sparkle. So I'm going to use this Max White Sparkle by Colour Passion. Now, it's very fly away, so make sure you move it right away from everything. I'm going to go over here on the side. And I want quite a lot. This is a big cup of resin here. I'm going to do like three scoops. One, two, it's flying away already. Three, there we go. Hopefully that's enough. Now I'm just going to move it out of the way just for a minute while I get the, the top sort of covered by resin. Because it is flying everywhere. And once it's all mixed in, I'll come back to you. It's like when you're making a cookie dough and you add your flour and then you mix it and flour goes everywhere, doesn't it? Oh. I made uh, white chocolate and macadamia cookies yesterday, actually. Yummo! So good. Now, have a look at the stick. Just tilt it and see if there's enough sparkle on there for you. A little, a little bit goes a long way and I did put a lot in there. So hopefully it will be all good. Move that out of the way. 
Hmm, it's funny working with a really thin resin again. I'm going to try this resin for my alcohol inks and see if I get the droppage. Because a lot of people have been saying to me, um, you know, I my alcohol inks don't drop. And it's probably because you're using a really thick resin like I was using. Um, although my donut mold, I did use the same resin that I did for my octopus. But the octopus is not nearly as deep as the um, donut mold. And like I said, you get a flash cure and then the, the resin just hardens so quickly. It doesn't give you a chance for the inks to drop. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked now. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of information while I was mixing this torch again. All right, now here we go. So let's I'll make sure that you're still all with me. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm going to spray this on. So I'm going to go sort of, because I want to get the sides. Because when I did my other one, oh, where is it? I did get quite a lot of... I've got quite a lot of bubbles. Oh. Now, here we go. I'm just going to spray from this side. I'm going to come around here and do the other side. <laughs> the spray's not going where I want it to go. <gasps> Each corner. There we go. I'd rather have a bit more than not enough. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to pour this straight on top of our alcohol sprayed mold and uh, we'll see if that works certainly does work when I do my druzy inserts now because this is a a very thin resin it's not likely to mound like my 360 plus does so I'll just have to be really careful I don't overfill like so now the other thing very very important this top terrace is only about two millimeters under the surface of the resin do not torch it okay it's just below the surface if you put heat on that you will fuse your resin to your mold don't do it use your spray it's okay like I you've seen me do it I do it when I'm doing other molds but they're quite deep and you know there's no silicone sitting right be below the surface. I'm going to get that bubble. Where are you going, bubble? I'll come back to it. Hopefully they'll all rise to the surface. All right, let's do the next one. So no torching. Let's uh, spray. I shall just do this. There we go sort of went down that way and that way and that way so I'm sort of trying to get the sides of those terraces okay here we go so any bubbles that are in the silicone that hit that alcohol should should potentially pop but we'll see once I unmold okay there's that one Next one, let's spray again. Don't like that bubble there. Maybe there must be something in there. Is that something? It's chasing it around. I don't know. We got it anyway. Maybe put a little bit more. Uh, re uh, resin in later so give that a very light dusting all right next one here we go hope this works you guys we shall see we shall see like I said I'll use it on my druzies and I don't get any bubbles 
I forgot once and um, I had so many bubbles in my druzy. I'll show you. I'll do a druzy um, video. Oh, I hope I got enough. Might have to mix up a tiny bit more. Okay, that's that one. I don't know that my board's quite straight. I might have to put a little bit of paper under this side here. It's just off by a millimeter. And a last one. Spray. I think I've got everywhere. Hopefully I've got enough resin. Oh, look. I'm going to be a tiny little bit short. Oh, dear. So close. I just guesstimated. <laughs> I should have put water in the beginning, shouldn't I? But then I thought, oh, then I'm going to have to dry it and I just want to get this done. So I just guesstimated. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to mix up a tiny bit more. I'll pop the bubble just there. Um, so yeah, yeah, you don't need to see me come back and I'm just going to mix up like an ounce, two ounces maybe, 60 grams, uh, and then I'll, I'll come back. But um, I will come back to you in a day or so once um, this is ready to unmold. Okay, so oh, I hope it works. <laughs> I'll see you then. Right, guys, I'm back. It's the next day. Hopefully they're um, set enough. Oh, they've got this gorgeous little sparkle through them. Ugh, suction down. Look at that, white on both sides. All right, let's see how we go getting these out, hey? Now, remember, I didn't do any heat, didn't torch, so they should be just fine. Oh my gosh, and oh, seriously, there is not one bubble. I'm going to come around and show you. I was so worried that there was going to be bubbles. Let me come around. Oh, look at the, look at the sparkle. Oh, wow. It's so exciting. <laughs> Let me put you on autofocus. Look at that. Can you see the sparkle, though? I wonder if it can pick it up. I really can't see what you're seeing because I've just got a reflection on my screen. Oh, there it is. Look, down there. See the sparkle? Look, sparkle. I've changed the position of my ring light. It's just there now. Hoping, hoping to get a bit more light, but it might be a bit annoying. Look at that. So now, now you, it makes sense. Pulled it out. Now this is what you pour into. Look at that. Oh. I love it. Oh, I know. I sound a bit over over the top. OTT. But seriously, this has been a dream of mine to create these molds. And it's been in the pipeline for so long. And it's finally arrived. Now, let's hopefully, 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 the others are bubble free like that one. Yes! Oh! <gasps> see a bubble at all oh my gosh oh I can't wait to put some blue water in those well you know what I mean not really water but blue resin that looks like water It'll pop out so easily <gasps> yes and another one with no bubbles nothing See, sometimes you get bubbles, you know, along your edges and things like that, but not one bubble. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. All right, last one. I wonder if we can do a trifecta. No. What's, a tri what's four? Not a trifecta. And have all of them bubble-free. Edge, nice and smooth. Not a bubble in sight. Oh, my gosh, you guys. 
so so happy oh thank you mold You've done a beautiful job and thank you to the nice thin resin and the alcohol squirt see what a difference it makes beautiful all right um i'm going to mix up some resin i'm only going to mix up a teensy little bit because i i want this very bottom section here to be quite dark so i'm not going to mix up resin just for that i'm going to wait till i do something else and then i've got a little bit of resin left over i'm just going to pour a little bit into the bottom of my darkest blue um, and then i'll start layering yay all right i'll see you then so happy they've turned out i'm going to come down and have a little look a little close up Okay, so there's the mold. And there's what came out of the mold. Oh, look at the shimmer. You can see the shimmer, shimmer. Does it look like glaciers? Hopefully it does. Hopefully we're going to get some really pretty effects. There we go. All right. Um, I'll see you soon when we do the, the first layer. Hey guys. I just finished another project and I've got about a third of a cup of resin left over from that. And uh, it's this one. It's the, um, the 360 plus by Platinum. The nice fast setting one so I thought I might as well use that but I am going to spray again with my alcohol before I pour so the first layer this deepest one here I want to do a nice dark blue so I thought I'd use this one the Lorez paste it's called sapphire blue I'm going to see if I can actually do a couple of layers um, and see how I go with one lighter and one darker and hopefully the you know they'll stay separated so we'll see um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there I'm not even gonna use all of this anyway <laughs> I'll have to do something else with it there we go I can just sit over there for a minute oh my sticks I haven't got still sticks I've got them over here in my little drawers okay so um, I thought I'd use the same for both but just put one like put less in one of them and more in the other so this one's actually got a little bit more resin in it put you a bit more because it's gonna do two layers hopefully so that can be the darkest one so let's just start with a tiny bit I don't Let's be careful. I don't want to make it look like black. I don't want to make it too dark. So we'll add a little bit at a time, but I do want it to be the darkest one. Because I think when I did my other coaster, I felt that the center was a little bit too dark and it looked almost black. But keep in mind, we're going to do extra layers anyway, so it's probably going to get darker and darker. So that's still, that's still really transparent. All right, we'll put a bit more in. I'll swipe my stick off. A little bit more. I think it's a great way to um, use up little bits of paint too. Not paint. Oh, gosh, I've got the acrylic pouring on the mind. Um, resin, little bits of resin. You know, this can just be sitting off to the side. Um, and you can just use your leftovers. When you've got some leftover resin, it's a good way to use up your leftover resin, isn't it? But you don't have to. You can just pour the whole thing, especially if you've got a quick setting resin. You can get it done, done and dusted really quickly. Like I could probably do three layers. You don't have to wait. That's the other thing. You don't have to wait until your first layer is cured. You just have to wait until it's thick enough to take the next layer. So, you know, you don't have to think, oh, it's going to take me forever to do it. No, you can... Do it quite quickly, depending on what resin you've got. Now that's still a little bit transparent. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. I 
have a day off work today, so I get to play. Now, I know a lot of you missed out on my holographic um, silicone inserts that I made. They just went so quickly, and I can only make three sets a day. So I'm actually in the process of making holographic moulds. I think that would just be easier than the inserts. So I'll have those ready really soon for those of you that missed out on my inserts. I am still making inserts because <laughs> I've still got orders to fill, but it's a very slow process. All right, I think that's about right now. Let's have a little, have a little look. Put some on there. It could possibly do with a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I do want to make it nice and dark. I'm sorry. Just fast forward. Fast forward. Come back to me when I'm finished stirring. I'm going to get that paste off the end of the stick too. Oh, now, oh, I nearly forgot. I need to spray. I want to spray. So this is a thicker resin too, so you may get more bubbles in the thicker resin. And again, we're not torching because... Um, Oh, actually, no, I haven't got any silicone anymore, have I? Oh, silicone moulds over there. All right, let's start here. Let's just spray that in the centre. Just one little spray. This is 100% alcohol, so there's no water or anything in it. Try and get 100%. Just pour that into the centre. So they're about one and a half millimetres. Oh, there's a hair. One and a half millimetres thick or deep these little terraces so you can get a decent amount in that looks nice and dark I'm happy with that look at that yep happy with that one let's just spread that out let's just see if I can zoom you down a little bit now that I've mixed and things actually there's not much room to zoom you're already pretty much in frame all right next one i've got to remember to spray again there we go and they're all different shape hey look at that i'm, I'm very excited i know i can't i can't stop saying it i am okay that one goes off to them next one See, I don't, I'm not going to use very much resin, am I? <laughs> Actually, what I might do, instead of wasting all this blue paste, I might just put a little bit of this blue paste into that resin there. I'll put the lid on that. That way I don't actually need any more paste. Okay, that's that one done. Spray. I'll do a video um, showing you the difference um, with having the spray and not having the spray, like on Druzy crystals, just so that you can see the difference it makes. Oh, don't need to spread you. You're already spread. All right. Um, so what I thought I would do, let me give that a little, little torch, and I don't have to worry about <laughs> melting my silicone mould. <laughs> I'm always careful. All right, um, what I thought I might do now is, like I said, I've got this, I've got this, it's really quite runny. I'm just going to wait maybe 10 minutes, and I'm going to come back and then just put another a little layer on. But let's just, let's put a little bit of this resin in with this resin just to lighten it. I'll just go slowly. I still want to use a dark blue. So you've got to remember, we're going to get lighter and lighter as we get up. So I don't want to have it too light because I want to save that for the, the higher levels. But yeah, I don't want to waste that resin that blue resin that I've already mixed up so you might as well just do that hey and then you can have a little look at it see how it's doing that's still quite light isn't it so let's put a little bit more in 
And I'm just doing this because I've got the paste already in there. I don't need it for anything else, so I might as well just use it for this. Don't you think? So in about 10 minutes or so, I'll come and test it. Um, and then, you know, when it's set a little bit thicker, I'll, I'll pour the next layer just so that they kind of stay separate. Okay, a little bit more. I did put quite a lot of clear resin in this little cup, so it'll take quite a lot. It's better than wasting half or a third of a cup of resin, isn't it? You might as well do something with it. Okay, so it's getting darker. Look at that. You can see the difference. I'm actually going to just pour all that in. I think it'll handle it. And I've just got the one cup of resin to do something with. There we go. Get rid of that one. I've just got this one to do. So from now on, I want all my layers to be transparent. I want to be able to see the terraces. I want to be able to see the colours underneath the other colours. that that's pretty dark now isn't it you can see the difference okay I'll leave it like that happy with that one and um, yeah I'll come back to you in about uh, I'll, I'll come and check it in about 10 minutes but it, I just don't want it to flash cure because it's in a little cup there it's quite deep for a little cup all right see you soon I think my resin's thick enough now Because it kind of leaves a little ball like that. See, it's not flattening straight away. So I'm going to go with it. And it also looks darker because it's thicker. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, I'm not going to spray again. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. I guess I could. Let's spray. Won't do any harm anyway. Do one at a time. Um, now what I'm going to try and do is just get it in that next little terrace like so. Yep, that's okay. You can still see the darker bit underneath. <laughs> that's good. All right. Now spray and... So I'm just sort of going around the very edge there. Doesn't matter if it sort of overflows onto the next one a little bit. It's not going to matter. It's all going to get blended at the end. I only want the, you know, I don't want it too dark because this one still is a little bit dark, but not as dark as the bottom. You can still, you can see that bottom layer there. So it's kind of spreading over the top of that one as well. But I just wanted to, as I said, let my resin thicken ever so slightly so that the two didn't blend too much. You know, I wanted to see the difference. Hopefully they'll, they'll stay like that. And this is all a bit of an experiment for me, really. It's the first time I've done this. So some terraces are wider than others. Just to get a different look. See, this one's wider on that side. Some are more narrow and different sides just to get like a really natural kind of a look. Spread that in. So that seemed to work really well, you guys. Like, you know, I didn't have to wait hours. I just came back, well, it's probably about 15 minutes, I guess. It wasn't too long. Alrighty. That will do. Now I've got a little bit of a spillage there, so I'm going to get my baby wipe out. A little handy baby wipe and just get that off because you don't want that on you. Your snow, do you? Oh, it's looking really pretty. Wow. All right, let me get my little gloves off. And I'm going to, oh, actually I'll torch first. Just torch. Give it a little torch. 
like so. Alrighty, I'll bring you down. Hopefully you can see that you can still see the dark blue underneath because I don't know if you can see from there. Let me get you down. Hopefully you can still see that darker section in the middle there. And then the lighter blue around it. There's that one. And then next time I've got a little bit of resin left over, I'll come back. Uh, I may even use this same paste again, but put in even less of the paste next time. So we get different shade. And then as we get um, closer to the top, I'll change over to alcohol inks. And um, yeah, the last one, last little layer will be very pale blue. So there we go. Looking really good so far. See you soon. Righto, guys, back for another layer or two or three or four. Right, I have half a cup of resin. Now, I really love the blue, this blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this cup and make like two thirds of the resin in one cup. and one third in the other cup. Oops, there's a motorbike going by. So I think that's about right. Two thirds in this one and about a third in that one. So that's gonna be the darker one and then that's gonna be the lighter one. So I'm going to see what will happen if I do two terraces in this slightly darker than this one but lighter than this and then two terraces in the lighter one because it's the two terraces like it's getting deeper anyway so it's going to look darker on the bottom one if you know what I mean so I'm going to I'm just going to try it because I don't think you have to do one layer at a time so I'm using the same but let's just put a little bit in there let's do a little bit for now always add more can't we so I want it lighter than what we've already got I just really love this color it's just it's an amazing blue it's a really pretty blue and um, I think it'll look amazing next to that white ice Make sure it's all mixed in. We don't want any streaks of blue. You can see how transparent that is. So I need to start making it really much lighter now because we've got the dark center. So we don't want any more really dark colors. And then this will be lighter again. And I, was, I know I said I was gonna to go to alcohol inks, but because I really like this color, I'm gonna do another couple of layers with it scraping the bottom I can see some stuck to the bottom and then I may go to alcohol ink I don't know maybe I'll stick with this color and just make it really really pale just a hint of color hey let's see what these are looking like shall we so that's that one and then that's that one which doesn't look a lot different <laughs> different in here it's not a lot different if you just I just want to see what it looks like <sighs> I should blow that I just want to see what it looks like against that. that that looks good doesn't it all right now let's pour I'm gonna pour in I'm just gonna pour some in and see how it goes So you need to come up here, up here, to that next little terrace there. And, you know, it'll spread on its own. Resin self-leveling, so it will go where it needs to go. We just want it to go to that next little terrace there. Actually, maybe I will, uh, there we go, one, two. We've gone two. We've done two terraces here. 
which is fine. I'm okay with that. We need a smaller stick to get in there. It'll probably go in on its own. I'll just be patient. All right, so that's two. Now that's two terraces, and you can actually see that the bottom terrace looks darker than the top terrace. I hope I've got enough resin here. Let's put some on all of them. And um, I'll spread that out. So we're going two terraces, aren't we? Yes. I wouldn't mind actually seeing what would happen if I just used the one colour, like the one shade, and just poured it straight in. Uh, and because you've got the different depths, it'll give a different colour anyway. Do you think so? It might be better just doing a few layers. But I, I really don't think you need to go to the trouble of doing every single terrace. It would just take too long. Um, but certainly do do what I did with the last one and just, you know, just wait half an hour or an hour or whatever until your resin started thickening up and then you can put your next layer on. You don't have to wait 24 hours. So there's lots of different ways you could do it. You know, you can take your time and use up leftover resins or you could just do it all in a couple of days. You can just do it all at once if you just wanted to pour resin in. All the one colour. Oh, it's looking so pretty. I love it. Just push that out. Oops, is there something in there? Is there something in there? There's something in there. What's that? Oh, got it. Huh. Didn't know what that was. All right, just spreading it out. So what I'll do now, I'll do what I did last time. I'll just wait until this resin is just thick enough to hold another layer on top. So I'll, I'll use this. I don't have to go and make up any more. I'll just um, come back in half an hour or so and just test it. This resin, it goes off pretty quick. So I guess if you're going to be doing your terraces, maybe choose a resin that does go off pretty quickly. Look at that. How pretty is that? If you've gone over, you could just use a little, one of these little, whatever they're called, with the cotton buds on top. And just neaten up your edges, but I think I did pretty good with those. Let's pour a little bit more on, use this up without overflowing. So I didn't spray this with alcohol because I don't think it needs it I think it's because it's so shallow um, I'll just be able to torch for bubbles you know because the resin's not very deep at all so if I s bubbles will come up to the surface on their own um, if they don't I'll just torch them all right I'm just going to see how much I can put in here without it overflowing use up all this resin No point wasting it, is there? Okay, now my next layer, I do need to be really much more pale than this. I hope I didn't put too much paste in. All right, so that's done. Another little torch, put the lid on that. Looks like I spilt some. Whoops! I dripped. I dripped a drop. I dropped a drip. Get babies wipe to the rescue. There we go. Got it. Whoops. Got it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's looking so good. I want to dive in. All right. Uh, I'll see you in, um, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. I'll put the other one on. So it's been about half an hour. And uh, I put my resin into this wide-mouthed bowl just so that it wouldn't flash cure. I put a little bit just there just to test to see 
if it would sort of mix and I think it's going to be all right so just getting my gloves on and uh, I'll pour the rest on I'm going to actually put it into a paper cup I think that'll be easier if I just pour it into this little paper cup and then I can pinch the edge and go around the the sides that I want to go around It's getting quite thick now. It's kind of getting to that gel stage. It just sits on the stick like that. So it's probably a good idea that I do this now before, because it's starting to get quite warm too. Now, I just want to go around the very edge. And again, it's a little bit tricky to do because it's thicker now. I'm going to do two terraces. Oops, I need a paper towel to catch that drip. So I'll do two terraces. And um, I don't mind if it, you know, runs over the top. Obviously, it'll run over the top of the other one. But hopefully, it's thick enough now that we'll kind of stay separate. Or if it blends a little bit at the edges, that's okay. I'm okay with that too. Let's we'll see how that goes. So two more terraces I'm doing. It's up to that one. I'll just make sure they've all got some and then... I can put a little bit more in there if I've got any left. If I don't have any left, it's okay. It'll just, um, we'll just put it on the next layer. It won't matter. It doesn't have to be that exact. Oh, that's looking really pretty. Let me see if I can scrape some more out of here. Oh, gee, I've just caught it in time, I think. It was about to go off. Look at that. Look how jelly it's gone. So I don't know if I'll actually be able to get any more out. I'll just see which one needs a bit more. It's just kind of globbing out now which is fine it's kind of what you want because you don't want the two colors to blend so that's the whole idea of waiting until it's starting to set up just got to catch it before it sets obviously but like I said this resin does set up pretty quickly you can unmold like in six to eight hours depending on the weather And of course, if you wanted to warm it up and make it a little bit thinner, you could just zap it with your heat gun and that'll thin it down a little bit too. So that's it there. Okay, um, I'm going to get my heat gun and just blow it a little bit just to get it to spread ever so slightly. Just on low, just the edges. See if I can get it to spread a little bit. There we go, now it's thinning out. a little bit. Whoops, I've got to be careful there. I don't blend my colours. <laughs> I put my stick in the... I wasn't concentrating. I put my stick in the... Um, Turn off! Oh, goodness. Off in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I put my stick into the dark blue and I didn't want that, so... 
All right, so I'm just going to spread those out a little bit now. Um, and then um, I'll be done. And then uh, we'll come back to you for the next layer, which will be really, really pale blue. Um, I'm going to change to, I think I'll go to this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to push that resin into these little crevices there. Okay, you're done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my heat gun. I'm just going to, again, just, just ever so carefully just heat that so that it just goes into the next little layer like that. <laughs> I'm melting my stick. <laughs> So you don't need to watch me do that. I'm just going to do that with all of them. Just get that to the edges there. And what I can get to the edges. Um, and then I'll um, I'll be back for the next layer. So happy with it so far. It's looking amazing. Can't turn it off with my gloves on. Oh, I'm going to take my gloves off. Goodness me. Alright guys, I'm back with the last layer of blue. The lightest shade ever of blue. Now, I can show you these little guys. I've got these, I think, from Amazon. The packaging is shocking. <laughs> like a plastic container for one tiny little whale. But um, like you could use these definitely and put them in, but you would just have to put them in. Wait, wait until you've done your, your darkest layer and then pop them in so that it's, you know, they're covered with the, um, the lighter blue shades. And that way you'll still be able to see them. Or if you're good at waves, maybe um, like, you know, blowing waves or froth or something like that. Uh, you could do that as your top layer or you could even do both. There's so much you could do with it. Now, like I said, I want the palest, palest shade of blue. So I'm just going to dip the end of the toothpick in there. Just want a hint of colour. I did this, <laughs> I did it before and I had too much colour. I just dipped the toothpick in, but it was too much colour. So just let's go slow with it this time. Just want ever so slight little hint of blue. And that's going to be our top layer there. What do you think so far? I love it. Love it. Now let's just get a piece of paper towel and see what the colour is going to look like. Because when it's in here, it's it looks much darker because it's a deeper cup. And I'm just using the same blue. I've done that for the whole thing. The darkest, the lightest, the same blue. Okay, can't really see that. Let's go a tiny little... Tiny little drop more. Believe me, go slow with your top layer. Like I said, I just dipped the toothpick in and thought, yep, that's fine, but it was way too dark. So now I'm doing a teensy little toothpick dip. And hopefully it'll be all right. So I want just a hint of color like that, beautiful. See that? Just a hint. Always put it on there because when it's in the cup, it looks darker. Well, it looks, it does look darker because it's deeper. So it's not a true, true colour. So just pop it on a little piece of paper towel just to test it. All right, let me get my other glove on now. Safety first. Um, all right. So they're dry. They're, they're probably not set hard, but they, they're hard enough to put this next layer on all right here we go and hopefully i've made a good choice with my light blue color i'm just going to put a little puddle on first make sure everybody's got some and then i'll spread that and then there's a little bit left if i need 
just to top it up. How's my colour? Oh, look, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Just a hint of blue. And then, of course, our next layer is just going to go clear. You don't have to do um, a clear top coat. Um, but if you don't, you'll probably see a little ridge where the white snow touches the shallow water, so to speak. So you'll see like that little ridge. So I will come back and top coat them. I'm just going to push that in. I'll just do one and then I'll do the others later because I'm sure it's a long video and you don't need to watch me do all of them. Oh, it's done! Yay! Oh, it's so exciting. Let me give it a quick torch. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. All right, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Oh, my gosh. Hasn't that blue done well, though, hey? Like from the one jar of blue sapphire Lorez pigment paste, I've got... The very dark blue, then I got the medium blue, light, lightest, and then the very, very lightest down there. There's a little tiny bubble, never mind. It's caught in the, one of the lower layers. It's water, it's allowed to have bubbles. I'm going to bring you down, hang on one sec. All right, so here we go. Look at that sparkle, isn't it pretty? Does it look like a glacier? And if you look really carefully into the center, and I think I probably did my first color a little bit on the dark side. But you can see, you can see how dark it is. And then there's the next shade of blue, which is a bit lighter, and then lighter, and then lighter, and then the lightest one. Now these two here, those two there, it's the same color. But because this terrace is a little bit lower, it looks darker anyway. So that's it there. All right, I'm going to do the others. I'm going to spread them out real quick. Um, and then I'll see you tomorrow for the clear coat. All righty, guys. It's time. Time for the final coat. Now, I've popped you down here next to me. Hello. <laughs> so that you can see maybe a little bit better what I'm doing. Got some more resin. And... I'll do this one, I think, because you can probably see the the shine a little bit better on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some resin just there. And then I'm going to take my little palette knife because it's nice and easy to, to spread rather than using a, a pop stick. And I'm just going to very carefully, hopefully I can do it here on this strange angle next to you. I'm just going to pull that puddle towards the edges. Now you do need to use a nice thick resin for this. Um, if you've got a couple of resins, choose your thickest one, you like your top coat resin, as opposed to a really thin one that's just going to flow off or maybe pull back on the sides and you'll have bald spots. So yeah, this is the, um, the Platinum 360 again. So it's nice and nice and thick so you just want to keep going all the way around just push that right to the edge I'm sort of going right over lifting my palette knife over the edge I don't want to push the resin down the sides but I just want to make sure that it's going to the edge now see this little bit here see how that's a little bit bald still so then we'd still need a little bit more resin though there so just Pick a little bit more up from the center, push it through. You don't want to be putting any more resin on just yet. Just let, let it all settle and make sure that you've got enough. If it keeps pulling back from the sides like that, um, then you may need a little bit more. But we'll just keep an eye on it. I don't want to put too much on now, just in case it flows over the side. So that's it there. Actually, I might take you off autofocus. 
can jump around a little bit like it's focusing on my hand and then focusing on the coaster it can be a little bit annoying so I'll just take you off auto focus right I'll do one more I'll do this one here yeah, I've made up a lot of resin <laughs> I probably only need um, I don't know half an ounce do 15 grams we'll see But see, this one's it's pulled back again on the side there. So you may need to put a little bit more resin on there because you need a nice... It wants to have a thick coat all the way around so that the resin just balances basically on the very edge. Because if you haven't got enough resin, it will keep pulling back like that. But let's do this one. And while we wait for that one just to settle, and we'll see if we need any more. Just don't go overboard and pour too, too much on to begin with because then you're going to end up with a big sticky mess if it all runs off the sides. If you're concerned, you can tape the back um, and put these up on like little, little cups or little bowls or something if you're worried about the resin running off. But um, I'm pretty confident that it's going to just stay where it's told to stay. If I do notice any little drips, I'll just grab my baby wipe and just wipe them off the side if anything's dripped down the sides. But I'm pretty confident that it will behave. Do what it's supposed to do. Okay. Now, hopefully you can see so there. It's pulling back and there and around there. So, again, same as the other one. It might not have quite enough resin. I'm just going to grab a little baby wipe because I've dropped a bit of resin there. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop a little bit more resin on that one and that one because it's pulling back away again and there as well. I don't know if you can see on that one. Okay, put my glove back on. <laughs> I just had to hit the screen. All right, so now, I don't know if you can see there. I'm just going to pull that across to the edge again. So just take your time, go a little bit by little bit, add a little bit more resin when you need to. If it starts pulling back, just means that you need a little bit more resin. Make sure that your surface is really level, otherwise you're going to struggle. So nice thick resin like this, it's going to want to just cling to the sides and just suspend there on the sides, on the edges. Uh, like I said, if you've got a, a resin that's too thin, it's not going to do that. It's just going to roll right off the sides and you don't want that. So get yourself a coating resin, like an art coat. How are those two looking? So good so far. All right, it's going to give this a light torch on the surface. I'm just pulling back again, just in that one little spot. Put a little bit more resin just there. I don't know why it's doing that, just that one little spot there. So yeah, like I said, just add little bits of resin as you go. If you notice that the edge is starting to pull back, just put a tiny bit more resin on. You need enough resin on the surface for the whole thing to be coated and for the resin to be doming. So it domes, it just sort of covers the edge like that in a little dome, but it won't do that if you haven't got enough on. So like I said, just add it slowly. How's this one going? Yep, you're good. I think that one's good. It hasn't, see, it hasn't pulled away from the side there again. All right, I'm going to go and do the other two. Actually, there's a little bit there, I think. Yep, that little bit just there needs a tiny bit more. I'm going to do the other two. And then um, I'll bring you down for a close-up and show you the tops of all of them. All right? I'll be back in a sec. 
Alrighty, I'm finished. Now if we stand back, try and have a look across the top, like into, into some light. I've got a window just there in front of me. So you'll be able to see if there's any bits that you've missed in the reflection. But um, it's looking good. I don't think I've missed any little bits. What do you think? Look at the sparkle. Oh gosh, guys, I'm so happy with these. Do you love them as much as I do? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, there's a little bit there that's pulling away. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more resin there. Just keep an eye on them. Like I said, if it's pulling away, it needs more. And I didn't measure, I just sort of put it on and hoped for the best. So just keep an eye on them. And if it needs just a little bit more, just add a touch more. Now, the business side of it. Does anybody want to pre-order one of these molds or the other one, the round one let me know because I can pop them in the in my store but just remember that it probably will be maybe um, four to six weeks before you get them but it'll be before Christmas so maybe you can give it to yourself for Christmas present hey if you if you make molds I mean well if you make coasters to sell them it might be a good idea getting one of each because then you'll actually have eight molds to do all at once so you're not making up little bits of resin you know, you can make up a decent amount and do two layers or two terraces at each time on eight moulds and you'll get them, get them done quick smart. So there we go. Love them. I was going to wait for them to dry. I'm going to go and fix that. I don't think there's anything else. I think they're all good. It's just that one there that needs a little bit more. So we'll do that. And I'm um, definitely going to do these again because I want to put the little whales in. But I'll see if I can speed it up a bit. So the first one, long video, obviously, because I show you how to do every little step. But um, in subsequent videos, I'll just speed it up so that um, you're not sitting there for so long. Last little look across the top. Beautiful. Love it. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I love my new mold. All right. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.